hi there welcome back to my channel it's a brand new week today is a monday morning and the topic i want to talk about as you've seen on the title clearly it's a topic i got last night and i've been pondering over it the whole night i was very excited to come and share it with you guys but first of all welcome back to my channel my name is Lynette and this is a tourism channel where I talk about tourism marketing, what I've learned in the industry and how best we can move the industry further and sharing my knowledge with you and what I know. Yes, so before we go any further, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel down there at the subscribe button and I will also encourage you to follow me on Instagram which is here so we can get chatting, talk and you know, get to know each other better. Yeah that so i have five tips that i feel university students need to know as they are pursuing their career as they're studying things that i used when i was at the university and now that i've left things that i feel other students who are there would find very productive will find very knowledgeable and things which i feel will help them further so so first of all before we get going further i would like to inform you that this video will really be productive to those students who are studying the course where they want to practice if you're doing um, i did bachelor's of tourism and that's what i'm doing right now in the field but if you're doing a course and you don't want to go further with it this might not be of much value but if you want to take your skills further from the university straight into the working industry in the same field then i think this video would be nice for you and i encourage you to watch up to the end because at the end i have a bonus tip for you all which i feel if you take the bonus tip alone all these all these can intertwine into that one bonus tip yeah so i encourage you to watch up to the end and we learn something from each other so first of all i would encourage all the students point number one keep your notes or keep your research work or keep your assignments i say this because i i have attended different trainings to sharpen my skills in tourism marketing but all the trainings i have encountered starting from when i was in school at the university there was a digital marketing training which was organized by an association in kampala and the things they were actually telling us in this digital marketing training were the same things which i had been told two weeks ago in technology management and I was like what yeah so and even further going to different organizations going for different trainings uh, last year October we had Saiti which is a tourism exhibition in Dar es Salaam I attended it and we had a marketing expert from Germany and he was telling us about German clients and how we can best market in the country and the things he was telling us Trust me, 80% of the things he was telling us, the, the characteristics, the basic skills, the attraction requirements, or the product line that Germans usually tend towards, were the things I had been taught in class. You know, So, you might, some, some people, if you're not in the industry while you study, you might not feel the value, you might not see the importance of these things, but I encourage you at the end of the semester to keep your books. You know, keep all the information you've been given by your lecturers, because where I was at Macquarie University, we have among the best lecturers, you know. I know they draw strategic plans for most of the countries across the region. And we have them at our disposal, so it's, it's crazy, but keep your notes, you will need them. Trust me, if you're going to work in the industry. Then, number two, I encourage all the students to go for trips. Go for as many trips as you can, you know. If you don't have enough disposable income save up you know when you begin the semester because usually these trips are organized by fellow students save up talk the poor organizing the trips you know cut a deal with them ensure that whatever it takes you go for all these trips because at the end of the day tourism you need exposure you need experience you need knowledge of on ground sites and activities and places so when you go for these school trips at least i did go for every school trip which was organized and trust me it has saved me because you're going to go to this particular company seeking employment and they're going to ask you do you know this place do you know this place have you been here where have you been in uganda how much do you know can you develop a product can you you know do tour planning and all these things and you'll be like no which is an innocent answer to say obviously because you're just from university 
that if you have been going for these different trips with your fellow students, which is quite cheap because we did the whole of Uganda, we did Rwanda, the whole of Rwanda through my three years at university. So if someone tells me, can you do a trip in Rwanda, I'll be like, yes, because I have been there. Not once, not twice, a number of times. You know, and then, and twice, tw two of the occasions, I've been there more than twice, but on two occasions I went with my fellow students and it was quite cheap. So do not neglect these school trips. If you can, do your best and attend these trips. Then number three, I encourage you to talk to your lecturers. You might, most students look at their lecturers like, okay, you know, he's there, I'm here, I'll see him when I can't avoid it. And that will be when we're in class. You know, if I do not chop that lecture. But I encourage you to go for all your lectures. That's one. You learn things which they won't even teach you. Which they won't even examine. You know, but things which are very paramount. Your lecturer might say something which will change your life totally. At least that worked for me. Then, uh, talking to them. Interacting with them. Seeking their advice. You know, poking their minds. You know, sit down with them while they have their tea or their lunch. And see how they think see what they think you'll be shocked on what you will learn from this particular person you'll be shocked about what you learn from this particular person and how best they will you know how they'll be willing to help because right now i know some of my lecturers who if i call them up and be like yeah so doctor how are you or professor or whoever it is that you're calling can i meet you can i have an appointment with you they'll be like yes we can have an appointment maybe at this time at this price you know because they are obviously well-learned people and these are people who are consulted by the government by the private sector by all these institutions so if you need their time and you're not a student anymore you're going to have to pay but see they are at your disposal you pass them in the corridors you meet them and they're in class and they're everywhere so i encourage you to take advantage of your lecturers talk to them engage them seek their advice poke their brains see where the, where their thinking is at you know you couldn't you can never know your lecturer might tell you something that you didn't even think about, that you didn't know was possible, you know, and that's how you start getting opportunities, that's how you start, you know, getting all these amazing opportunities that are out here. Then number four, I encourage all the students out there, even before you join university, I encourage you to intern, volunteer, or work somewhere. If you get a job in the industry where you are, if you are doing medicine and you get to be, you know, a help in a hospital somewhere. You don't have to be practicing what you're studying because you're not yet qualified. Let's be humble. Let's calm down, you know. Uh, if you're able to volunteer. When I was in my vacation, I knew I wanted to do tourism from there on. So in my vacation, I, I volunteered at a site in Kampala, beautiful site, the parliament of Buganda Kingdom. And there was a volunteer, a site guide there. I worked every day. I loved it. From the moment I started working, I was, I was like, it was like a confirmation that I wanted to be in this industry. And when I started university, it was, it was like I hit the ground running. Because what, the, what they were telling us in class, I had practical experience about it. When, when we were doing sociology and they were telling us how the clients re relate with the guides and the people in the community, I was like, yes, 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 yes. Because I had seen these things happen to me at my workplace. So if you can't get a place where you will be paid, Get a place where you can volunteer, you know, where you can intern, offer a free service because you don't have to, it doesn't have to be very stressing for you. If you are at Macquarie, there are over 20 tour companies, companies in one day, you know, go there, ask them if you can come around, you know, if you can help, even though it's for two hours a day, then you go for your lectures or you come after your lectures, whatever it is, work out a mechanism which will help you learn more while you're studying. Because at the end of the three years, you're going to go to a company, this amazing, reputable company, and they're going to ask you, how much experience do you have? You know? I personally just finished my graduate, I just had my graduation in January, and if I go to a company, I'll say I have four years experience. Because I've been working even before I started university. So yes, I have four years of experience. You know? But I'm no different from you. We are not any different. I'm also a student. I also like to have fun. I like to relax. And I love to read my books. But then, how will you practice what you're taught? How will you see the value of what you're taught when you're not doing anything in the industry? So I encourage you to intern, volunteer, or work somewhere if you're able to get a job. 
in the industry where you are yes then uh, number five I encourage you to be patient number five says the the best is yet to come you know as students be patient with everything when you're going into the working world you know start don't be afraid to start from the bottom don't have entitlement be humble you know because all the people that you're meeting the people that are employing me currently the gentleman has been in the business for over 20 years you know the people who i'm working with have been in the industry for 10 15 years so it's very important to know that the best is yet to come not to rush so hard for things do your best but also be patient be consistent i know that some things that can't really be bought like integrity you know your dedication to work your passion these things cannot be placed these things you can't put a price on them and they're among the things which are looked out for in the working world as you are joining the industry and everything so i encourage you to be patient to be consistent and to have integrity because this will either break or make your career from day one even as a student even before you join the university have these basic principles you know yes so and my last bonus my last bonus point um this one you'll have to get it on my instagram i know you've watched the video you've watched all the five tips and i know they are very powerful we can recap all of them first i encourage you to keep your notes then two i encourage you to go for all the different trips because this will help boost your knowledge your cv and even your practicability in the industry three i encourage you to talk to your lecturers they are your friends you know this part your friends are also human beings they know the challenges we face they are normal people okay let's talk to them let's make them our friends let's interact with them four i encourage you to volunteer to intern or work somewhere as long as it's in the industry where you are go and provide the service it could be two hours then you go and live your life the rest of the time it could be three hours a day it could even be twice a week whatever it is as long as it gives you experience exposure and networks do it then number five i encourage you to be humble to be to know that the best is yet to come not to rush and to know that our time is coming yeah then I'll, my last point my bonus point my sixth point which i'll have to get you on my instagram you saw my instagram here yes i encourage you to hit me up in my inbox tell me you have watched this video and you want to get a bonus point and i'll give it to you because the bonus point is more powerful than actually all the other points combined so i encourage you to hit me up in my inbox talk to me i know some of you guys are shy and you don't want to hit me up but this bonus point is very powerful trust me so hit me up in my inbox or you can go on whatever picture i've posted my latest post on instagram and you told me about this video and i'll give it to you so don't be shy i know you want to see this last bonus video and i also want to give it to you so yes <laughs>